Josh, first and foremost, we've got to congratulate you. Uh, nominated as our fans' player of the season, that must be a proud moment for you. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, of course, it's a very proud moment for me, my family. Um, yeah, I'd just like to thank the fans for obviously voting for me, but also thank the coaching staff and my teammates that helped me a lot this season to settle in. But not only settle in, become a, a better player and develop me as a person and a player. So I'm very grateful. And appreciate the club a lot. And we, normally you kind of be out here and announced in front over the PA system. There'll be fans giving you the round of applause and so on. Bit of a strange scenario, right? You just kind of get given the trophy and then <laughs> there you go. Yeah, well, it was nice coming out to you clapping for me. It was, uh, <laughs> that was probably just a special. So um, yeah, it would have been, been nice to have the fans in there to, to receive it. But um, hopefully next season when they come in, uh, the whole team will get a good reception. That's it. I mean, it's been a, it's such a strange season without the fans. I mean, you kind of normally get a bit of a clue who's going to be, but of course, you know, they've been watching over the internet or on TV and stuff. You know, you haven't really, in your first year, haven't quite been able to make that connection in a personal sense, but it's clear they've appreciate what you've done for the club. Yeah, of course, cool. so like I say, it's, it's a bit harder. Uh, you, when they are in the stadium, you, you do feel it, and obviously seeing them around the, the club and around the stadium, you, you get a bit more of a connection more, but I felt it anyway, um, virally. So, um, it's been nice and I appreciate I said, the fans and the club a lot. Yeah, I mean, you've had the, obviously those three games here where fans are, are really good for us and I'm sure, you know, we know that social media is not always a, a really nice place to be, but they've given you a lot of love on that as well. Oh, 100%. Uh, like you say, it's not a nice place to be for, you know, a lot of people, but uh, they've been really good to me and I think they've been really good to the team as well this year. So I think uh, we've uh, deserved a bit of appreciation because we've had, uh, we have done well. We've just finished short of our goals but they've been brilliant and uh, an all-rounder yeah so, I mean you mentioned there the team's come on a lot you must have enjoyed your first season here at Reading as, on the whole and I know we would have loved to have capped it with something a bit better but uh, you know on the whole you've played almost every single game and yeah really made a big contribution thank you yeah it's, again that's down to the gaffer has got a lot of faith in me a lot of trust and I trust in him so again they yeah, I just have to, I'm very thankful to everyone involved in the the staff and the players, they've helped me out a lot this season. And for them to give me a captain's armband on, on this uh, special day for me, it, it meant a lot. Yeah, that's the thing, I mean, the captain's armband too. When did you find out that? Was that another late one? Uh, no, he did ask me on a Thursday whether I'd like to, and I said, yeah. Obviously, then I didn't have a clue what was going on when uh, Liam came in before the game and uh, gave it to me and said, uh, said a nice few words. So I'm very appreciative and honoured to captain this group of lads for the game. Absolutely, and uh, obviously you mentioned already we're going to the summer now, and um, you know, hopefully with a, with a really nice base behind us. You know, we've had a good year, got a good foundation, good group of players, and uh, yeah, just to, and you know, have a little bit of a break, but come back raring in, in a few months' time. Hundred percent. Uh, the goal remains the same. We didn't reach it this season, but the goal remains the same for next season. As soon as you come back, it's every day pushing to try and reach that goal. We all know where we want to be, and uh, I'm sure hopefully next season we, we'll go one better or maybe two better. And go up. That's the thing. I mean, and obviously, a lot of learning been done this season. Probably today's game is a, another another learning curve for us. We didn't quite get the result, but you know, th those is good foundation to build from. A lot of lessons learned. For, you know, the manager admitted the same thing. You know, he's plenty of lessons and, and experience that he's got from this season. I think everyone will learn. I mean, we've got a young group, one of the youngest groups in the league. I think uh, haven't got a, a massive squad either. So we're, we're a tight group, we're a young group, and probably bit of an experience and just fell short because we, we blew up a little bit towards the end but we'd all take a lot away from it gaffer included and the coach and stuff so yeah we're, we're, i'm sure we'll go a long way next year and hopefully as i say we can go two better and that's the thing you mentioned as well already you know you, you it's your first year of championship football too i mean it's been a pretty relentless i think you played 45 out of 46 games and stuff you, you must have enjoyed that as well you know stepping up and playing against you know ex-prem players and, and players who've got up there this season and alongside these groups as well. Yeah, I know it's, it's hard to take it in while you're playing because obviously you've got a goal and it's, your mind sort of goes away from it really. You're thinking about winning every week with the boys and you know reaching our goals together. So but now it's all finished, I can, it's a bit, uh, can look back and really appreciate a bit more. And yeah, it's the highest I've played. I was hoping to go a bit higher this season, but you know, the goal remains the same for everyone personally and as a team. So yeah, it's been, it's been a great season and uh, I'm very thankful for the club. Absolutely. And lastly, as you said, you know, because it's, you know, what is it, August the 7th, we're going to be kicking off again. And there's a bit of, but, you know, a few little stages to go through. We've got a pre season at the, at the end of that. But first, it's about hopefully a little bit of relaxation, switch the brain off a little bit, look, you know, to turn football off just for a bit because it's been, it's so draining, isn't it, being involved like this? Yeah, of course. Especially when uh, 
where it's ended a little bit, obviously a bit of disappointment. So it's good to just get away from it for a week or two. Just relax. Everyone needs to relax their bodies, relax their mind, be ready to come back next season because as soon as we come back first day, the goal remains the same. We've got to have a big target next year. So hopefully uh, we can do it.